All right. Arthur, you're not allowed to come. You were just told that you're not allowed. You're fired, Karth. Not like I use you on the team anymore, anyway. You there, Padawan. Why are you not wearing the customary robes of the Jedi? Do you mock the honored traditions of our order? In your business. Bastila. I have heard of her. They say she has already mastered the art of battle meditation. Remarkable in one so young. Though I've heard she has a foolish pride in her own talents. But as for you, you claim you are not a Padawan? I find this hard to believe. The Force is strong within you. I can feel its presence. If this is some type of jest, it is in very poor taste. The Jedi <coughs> Order is not a subject for jokes. Why is it that every NPC that looks like her has the same attitude? Please forgive the abruptness with which I first greeted you. It was harsh and perhaps unfair. My master often warns me that I must learn to control my emotions. I see I have much left to learn. I wish you a pleasant stay. Now who's identity. the Padawan bitch? May the force be with you. Bitch. Right, now I don't know where the hell I'm supposed to go. Here's Karth, so I guess it's this way. Hi, ah, Yoda. So you are the one who rescued Bastila. It is appropriate you are here. We have been discussing. Can't have a Jedi Rather Council without a Yoda case. clone. I am Jar, a member of the Jedi Council. With me are Master Vrook, Master Vandar, and of course the Chronicler of our Academy, of course. Master Dorak. Padawan Bastila, I am sure you are already familiar with. So you draw me into your little trap, Bastila. What now? <laughs> yes. The High Council of the Jedi Order is on Coruscant, but we are the Council in charge of the training facility here on Dantooine. Bastila tells us you are strong in the Force. We are considering you for Jedi training. Nothing would give me greater honor. Master Jar speaks out of turn, perhaps. We need indisputable proof of your strong affinity to the Force before we would even consider accepting you. Fine, I'll go pick up some rocks. Proof? Surely the entire Council can feel the strength of the Force within this man. And I've already related to you the events that took place on Terrace. Perhaps it was simple luck. We both know there is no luck. There is only the Force. We all feel the power in Bastila's companion, though it is wild and untamed. Now that this power has begun to manifest itself, can we safely ignore it? The Jedi training is long and difficult, even when working with a young and open mind. Yeah, man, it'll only take a few minutes. Teaching a child is hard. How much harder will it be for an adult to learn the ways of the Jedi? I'll just push a couple buttons, I'll be done. It'll be easy. Traditionally, the Jedi do not accept adults for training. Though there are rare exceptions in the history of our order, but you are a special case. I agree with Master Dorak. Many of our own pupils are leaving the Jedi Order to follow the Sith teachings. You're a special case. We need You're a player character. Malik. With Revan dead. Are you certain Revan is truly dead? What if we undertake to train this one and the Dark Lord should return? We should discuss this matter more fully in private. Bastila, you and your companion must go. This is a matter for the Council alone. As you wish, Master Vandar. We shall return to the Ebon Hawk and leave you to your deliberations. Yeah, Mark. Our characters break all the rules. The <laughs> Yoda looks like he's been burnt. Slightly crispy Yoda. The dark side is strong in this place. I can feel its power. Is this wise? The ancient Jedi sealed this archway. 
If we pass beyond this door, we can never go back. The Order will surely banish us. Are the secrets of the Star Forge so valuable? Can its power truly be worth the risk? It's extra cool because we put the word star in front of it. First Bastila comes out looking like she saw a ghost, and now you. Well, Bastila did mention that you should go to the council chambers before she left. It's no doubt urgent, so you shouldn't keep them waiting. No, she didn't. She didn't seem well, as I recall, and for that matter, neither do you. Are you all right? You got it. Do oh, I have to? Fine. Sure, I guess. I don't know. I don't care. Alright, um... Am I supposed to find her? Chamber, maybe? That guy did look kind of like a grown-up Aang, didn't he? Dog, does this mean that Aang's actually uh, a, a Sith Lord? We cracked his true identity. Bastila has told us of a most unusual development. She claims you and she have shared a dream. A vision of Malak and Revan in the ancient ruins here on Dantooine. These ruins have long been known to us, but we believe them to be merely burial mounds. Perhaps there are more than we first suspected, if Revan and Malak found something there. Bastila has described this shared dream to the Council in great detail. We feel it is more than a dream. It is a vision. The Force is acting through you, as it acts through Bastila. You and Bastila share a powerful connection to the Force, and each other. Go on. This is not unheard of. Connections often form between master and student, but rarely does a bond develop so quickly. Whatever dangers may lie ahead, we cannot ignore the destiny that has brought you and Bastila here to us, together. With hips like hers, I'd be happy to connect to her, if you know what I mean. You and she are linked, as is your fate to hers. Oh, Together, yeah. Together, you two may be able to stop Darth Malak and the Ladies. Sea. But do not let your head be filled with visions of glory and power. Such thoughts are the path to the dark side. The way of the light is long and difficult, as you must learn. Are you ready for such hardship? Oh, it's long and hardship, all right. Understand that there is little choice in this matter, for you or us. Across the galaxy, the numbers of our order dwindle. We have sent many Jedi in quest of a way to thwart Malak's advance. Many have not returned. The Sith hunt the Jedi down like animals, ambushing and assassinating our brothers wherever they are found. We fear it is only a matter of time until they discover even this hidden refuge. Other Jedi have fallen from the light and embraced the dark side, giving their allegiance to the Sith and Malak, their dark lord. The lure of the dark side is not easy to resist. Malak's power grows as more and more planets fall to his conquering armies. If Malak is not stopped, the Republic will fall, and the Jedi will be hunted to extinction. The galaxy will enter Spoilers. a time of darkness and tyranny, not seen for a thousand generations. The Council has decreed that you and Bastila must investigate the ancient ruins you dreamed of, once the Council deems you ready. Perhaps there you will find some clue, some explanation of how Revan and Malak were corrupted. 
and perhaps there you shall find a way to stop them. Oh, I know all about Revan, bud. The force flows through you like no student we have ever seen. But you're willful and headstrong, a dangerous combination. Before we send you to investigate the ruins, you must be trained in the ways of the Jedi, so that you can resist the darkness within yourself, within all of us. Otherwise, you are doomed to fail. We must begin your training at once. You have a destiny upon you that you must be prepared to face. The entire fate of the galaxy is upon you. I can only hope you will prove up to the task. The path you have chosen to walk is difficult. Intensive training will prepare you physically for the demands of the Order. Meditation will teach you to channel the power of the Force. To truly understand the way of the Jedi, you must open your mind to knowledge. Seek wisdom in the teachings of the great masters of our Order. A Jedi is never alone. Others in the Order will always stand by you. You and Bastila share a special bond. Do not be afraid to turn to her when you need help in your training. The way of the Jedi is difficult. It requires great discipline. Yet even though you are a mere apprentice, your potential is unlimited and your progress amazing. In all my years, I have never seen one who has mastered the initial training so quickly. You have done in weeks what many cannot do in years. I am honored to welcome you fully into the Jedi Order. I told you it wouldn't take that long. Soon your apprenticeship will end, and you will be granted the title of Padawan, the lowest rank of those within the Jedi Order. Yet first, you must prove yourself worthy. Few mention those names around here anymore, but I suppose it is just as dangerous to deny they were ever part of the Order. When I was still on Coruscant, Revan and Malak often came to me for additional training. In particular, Revan's hunger to learn seemed insatiable. I should have recognized this as a warning sign. But I perceive the young Padawan's lust for knowledge as simple exuberance and eagerness. Revan was my most promising pupil. One I felt sure would someday become a champion of the Jedi Order. Take this as a lesson, kids. Don't learn stuff while you're turn evil. Learning's bad for you. The Jedi Order moved too slowly for Revan and Malak. We were too cautious in their eyes. They always sought to learn far quicker than their masters felt was prudent. It is one thing to understand a lesson, but to truly comprehend it takes a wisdom that only comes with time. Several years ago, when the Mandalorian threat first arose, Revan and Malak were eager to journey to the Outer Rim to defeat the enemy of the Republic. But the Council felt it best if we moved with care and caution. The true threat, the Council feared, had not yet revealed itself. But Revan would not be dissuaded. Charismatic and powerful, it was inevitable many of the Order would flock to Revan's seemingly noble cause. Malak was the first to join his closest friend. Others soon followed, many of our youngest and brightest, intent on saving the galaxy from the Mandalorian threat. <laughs> Too lazy to learn so you're safe? There you go, Mark. Good outlook. You'll be fine. They were foolish to disregard the Council's wishes. I do not know what happened to Revan Malak and their followers I do. on the farthest reaches of the Outer Rim, but something corrupted them. Their ideals became twisted, their spirits were tainted, and they fell to the dark side. There is a lesson in this, a lesson you would do well to take to heart. The dark side can corrupt even the most noble of Jedi. You have learned much, yet there is much more for you to still understand. The way of the Jedi must be entered into with a clear and focused mind. When you feel that you are ready to continue your training, know that you can find me here. How about right now? Hmm? Greetings, my young pupil. Your progress has been most remarkable so far. 
Are you here to continue your training in the ways of the Jedi? Hell yeah. Soon your apprenticeship will end, and you will be granted the title of Padawan, the lowest rank of those within the Jedi Order. Yet first you must prove yourself worthy in the traditions and customs of our Order, as handed down from master to pupil for a thousand generations. You must successfully complete three tests before you earn your place among the Jedi. Uh, the answer is three apples, uh, 21 miles per hour, and pi r squared. These tests will see if you have truly mastered the training you have been given, both mental and physical. Upon completing these tests, you will pass from apprentice to padawan and join in the ranks of the Jedi. First, I will test your knowledge of the Jedi Code. These tenets must always guide your actions. In everything you do, you must always be conscious of their wisdom. You must prove you have a Jedi's understanding of the code. Return when you feel you are ready for this challenge. You just want the pie, Mark? Well, you're going to have to wait until uh, March 14th for that, I'm afraid. Either that or go to the store and buy some, you know. Uh, okay, so the tenets... I'm supposed to go research that somewhere, right? I think I might just know this. So I'll just Greetings, save the game and give it a try. People. Your progress has been most remarkable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Soon you're in the tradition. Blah, blah, blah. These tests will... First, I will test your... Mm -hmm. You must now prove you have a Jedi's understanding of the code by completing these fundamental precepts of our order. There is no emotion is I think serenity that is not correct uh, apprentice there is no shame in it. return ready Greeting. do it in the the first you might there is there is oh that is not uh, there, fine return. I'll go look it up it's peace I didn't see peace as an option hold on double check maybe it was maybe it was a scroll down option Greetings. I'm gonna get through my the test by just guessing until I win. You there is. No there it is. There is no ignorance. This one is knowledge. There is no passion. Serenity. There is no chaos. Ready? There is no death. Force. You have learned your studies well, apprentice. It will not be long before you are a full member of our order. But first. You must pass the second test and learn about the most prized possession of a Jedi, the very symbol of our order, the lightsaber. The lightsaber is the traditional weapon of our order. It is a symbol of a Jedi's skill, dedication, and authority. And each lightsaber is as individual as the Respect Jedi. Respect my who wield it. The blade is made of pure energy, focused by polished crystals in the hilt. As the second test, I'll polish them all right. Jedi must construct his lightsaber with his own hand. Polish him with my and own now hands. Now it is your time. Speak with Master Dorak, and he will guide you through the choosing of a crystal. You, you've never seen a saber so polished. Where's this guy? Uh, which one was it? Dorak, is that one of you guys? Yes. Hey dog, it was just the first one I didn't know. I need the rest of them. Ah, you have come, young apprentice, at Master Zar's bidding. He sees great promise in you, as do I. The time has come for you to choose the color of your lightsaber. This color also Lad. reflects your demeanor and position within the Order. Lad. Blue is the color of the Jedi Guardian. This Jedi battles against the forces of evil and the dark side. They focus more on combat training and use of the lightsaber. Yellow is the color of the Jedi Sentinel. This Jedi ferrets out deceit and injustice, bringing it to light. They focus less on combat and more on other skills. And FBI, abilities. open the door. Green is the color of the Jedi Consular. This Jedi seeks to bring balance to the universe. They mediate between other groups, using their powers to end conflict and preserve peace. Indeed, we shall see. 
I will now ask you questions, and your responses will indicate which class you lean most towards. A woman and her small child are beset by a desperate-looking group of thugs. They're menacing her with weapons, and she screams to you for help. What do you do? Chop them in half with pure energy. Hmm. Indeed. Very well. On to the next question. You are in combat with a dark Jedi allied with the Sith. There is a pause in the combat. What do you do? <laughs> Chop them in half. Yes, I suspected as much. Now for the next question. There is a locked door, and your goal lies on the other side. What do you do? Lightsaber. I am beginning to see a pattern here, Apprentice. I have a feeling about what you would be best at. But first, the final question. You are the head of an enclave on a contested world. The Dark Jedi have infiltrated and are causing unrest across the planet. What do you do? I like how the Guardian options are not just like, I, st I stand up and protect the innocent. It's, it's all just brute violence answers. <laughs> Yes, I thought as much. As I suspected, you would be most suitable as a Jedi Guardian. As I suspected, you'd be best at the thing that you said you wanted to be. Suited to, apprentice. I've answered this already twice. Uh. Here is a blue crystal for your lightsaber. Go speak to Master Jar again, and he will instruct you in how to construct it. Well, okay, I... Um, I've got the Jedi Guardian, now I do want to level up. Okay. Funny how they won't let me not level up now, though. Strumpf. Hey, Strumpf. Where is it? 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 Yeah. Swade. Sense. Jumps. Jedi Sense. for six. Okay. Um... Thing where I'm awesome at lightsabers. There it is. Probably good too, but I want this first. Good focus. Oh, thank you. Again, again. Give me that sweet, sweet persuade. You would take the speedy run power? You would, wouldn't you? I might take it later. But right now I want the healing and the defense. I know I got this gave the same things to Bastila, but I might not have her in the party all the time. I don't know, maybe. Up, so a little him. Tarata. Okay, and I don't remember if they give me a lightsaber again. I have to earn one. I have to. Okay. Yeah, I know. I have. I have to build it. They could have given me like a loner. Ah, <laughs> uh, well. Um. All right. Who's gonna tell me how to build?
Ah, good. Now that you have selected your crystal, we shall begin the construction of your lightsaber. Simple button. Alright, so what are the stats in this button? 16 noise. Check out my new toy, Karth. Badass vibrator. Star. Look what I made. Well in constructing your lightsaber, apprentice. Your crystal seems to have been set perfectly. You push the assemble it is button rare like a indeed pro. For that to happen the first time one constructs their lightsaber. These yes, I get it, I'm awesome. very rare, found only in certain caves strong in the force. By adding crystals to your lightsaber, you can alter or enhance its properties. There have even been unconfirmed rumors of certain force sensitive caves here on Dantooine that may hold these crystals. A, f a cave can't be force sensitive. It's not a people. It is a rumor only. I do not know if there's any truth in it. But you must learn first to use your lightsaber and take care when drawing it. Your lightsaber identifies we'll chop your you as a member off. of the Jedi Order. With such recognition comes honor and respect. And the attentions of dangerous enemies. The Sith and Dark Jedi will seek to destroy you, Apprentice. And you must prove yourself worthy in battle against a foe who also wields a lightsaber. Are you ready to face the final challenge, Apprentice? I'm not at the end of the game yet. For every Jedi, the threat of the dark side is always present. You must truly understand this before you are accepted into the Order. You must see the corruption of the dark side for yourself. Even here on Dantooine, there are places where the dark side holds sway twisting and tainting nature itself. The ancient grove, once used for deep meditation by the Jedi, is now tainted. A wave of darkness perverts the region around it. The Cathounds in the area have become savage and ruthless. They have become a threat to the settlers, a threat the Jedi have promised to stop. But haven't bothered getting around to yet. The Cathounds are but a symptom of the true problem. You must journey into the grove and confront the true source of the darkness. That is your task. Your father, who didn't give you enough attention as a child. I can say no more. Some things you must see for yourself. None of the other Jedi at the Academy are permitted to help you in this task. But remember this, my young apprentice. A Jedi acts with patience and care, and those on the dark path are not always lost forever. The dark side still taints the ancient grove. Your lessons cannot continue until the spreading corruption of the dark side has been stopped. This is your task, apprentice. May the force be with you. No, you. Hey, um, artisan. You. Get out. I can't. Uh, fine, you can stay. But I'm gonna need to level you up. What?
Sure. 